Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, Jan 13. If you're superstitious, beware. Friday the 13th today. Checking this thing out. This goes right to dollar yen. Broke 120, uh, 129.50 late last night. Very clean. Um, the high since was 45. The low since was 39. Um, if you're a break trader looking for 100 points, that's what you do. Um, so that was nice. Here, uh, we just had a little jag down. So we were, you know, an hour ago we were 129.18. Um, and then first hour, really the 6 a.m. hour in London, they whacked it down to 128.40. Now we're here at 68. Yields are at 345, not their lowest. Got down to 342.4 yesterday. Um, we're short. Uh, we're short bonds, by the way. Long yield. Um, we're gonna buy some more at uh, when the yields, if the yields get to 335. Uh, if you think yields are going to go higher, or you think this is like the edge of of ten year yields, you might want to buy some dollar yen. If you want to be cautious about it, um, use one twenty nine fifty as a pivot, right? So get back long through fifty on the top side. Otherwise, just sit tight and wait. You know, any kind of fade on this is so far away. Like your first your first main support is. 126.45 so you got a lot of ways to go two and a half sigma is 127 47 so 100 points there's really no support around here so just be careful with this it is friday the 13th things tend to go a bit haywire sometimes on on these days it becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy for for traders let's look at es Living up here on the highs, um, yesterday the high 4021, um, right here at 4000. Nothing to do in stocks, dead smack in the middle of this 4200, 3800 range. A uh, lot of talk about markets under risked, markets too bearish painful short squeeze here the VIX is getting crushed uh, but I certainly am not going to be wildly into into um, the S&P here we had that Apple trade on and we had some Microsoft on but it's been that kind of week right we had to sell some winners um, to pay for some losers We've had a few losers this week, which is fairly unusual for us. Normally, we have a pretty good hit ratio. Um, or should I say it's not abnormal for us? Normally, we keep our risk in better check, shall I say, than we have this week. We've been a lot of micro trading errors this week about risk management. Um, Got to clean that shit up for next week. Anyway, let's see what else is here. Uh, Aussies getting stretched here. Uh, we actually like selling this into 70 cents today, uh, especially if yields start to edge higher. Dollar CAD not doing anything. I mean, we talked about selling it up where 134.70. Of course, yesterday we got up to 56. We were too busy self sodomizing after that CPI yesterday to even realize that we should have sold dollar CAD. Anyway, for another for another day. Euro's also getting a bit stretched, right? Stretchy stretchy for us today is seventy two. The high was sixty seven. Um, anywhere between seventy and the figure today is a sell in Euro. Euro sterling on the tippity toppity tippity top. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, if you recall, I think Monday we were selling this stuff down through 80 or 90, sorry. You know, 80 went down to 71. Bang, higher. 
Um, nothing to do with this here. Cable keeps visiting this support, 121.85. You'll remember that from last week. Last Friday, we had the big move up. Um, this up to 121.73. Um, the low was 75. Uh, held nicely. Maybe this means uh, Euro sterling lower, but what also this means is this is now your pivot. If you want to get short sterling um, through 121.75, now there's going to be stops. So keep an eye on that. Kiwi it seems a bit lost here. Uh, again, yesterday CPI craziness up 1.5%, down 1.5%, up 1.5%, now back down, uh, right back into the middle, nothing to do here. Dollar Yen, we talked about this. No support in sight. Uh, 41 low so far. We'll just have to see how this goes. If you want to get long, probably back up through 129.50 is your call. Um, we will be We will be trading that. Square now, dollar yen. Dollar Swiss has been a conundrum for us this week. Um, we tried to fade it early. Dumb. Went all the way up to 93.60. Went 100 points past our fade. Obviously, we didn't wear that for 100 points, but we still lost money on the trade. And then it collapsed back down to 92.64, right at the point where we were fading it. We should have been buying it, but we just sat there with our dicks in our in somebody's ass or our own ass I don't even know self sodomy testicle tasting um, sort of like wine tasting uh, with balls I don't know what we've been doing this week head in our ass who knows uh, same thing with uh, euros Just look at that fucker one double oh nine seven eight I have no idea what's going on with the Swiss franc um, this week, but <laughs> I do have this odd feeling that we had an offer at 99. Let me just check. Just to 97, we had an offer. Fuck me. 97, the high, we did not get filled, you cunts. Anyway, been that kind of week. Um, Euro Swiss is is stretchy, stretchy. I don't know what to say. Shit's fucking stretched. Um, <laughs> we really should just stop trading today and take a day off. Euro Aussie, nothing to do. Aussie yen. Not on its knees. Aussie, you know, Swiss yen is on its knees. Um, 138.03 is uh, your your knee point. We got down to 16. <laughs> we had a bid at 11. Uh, holy fucking shit. <laughs> it's one of those weeks. Mercy, mercy me. Mercy me. Driving my kid to school in the rain. What else is there? Gotta just laugh sometimes. Dollars are. Um, did get down through that key 88 we were talking yesterday. We, of course, did not trade that. Um, but that looks pretty good. 13 big figures through that level. <sighs> As you can see, a little flustered here. Uh, I'm just going to leave it and say that I have no fucking idea what's going on. We're short bonds. We're long a bit of rates. Um, we are going to buy dollar yen if it gets back through 129.50. Otherwise, I think we're going to go soak our head in one of those cold tubs or something. Uh, restart the system. Good luck out there, people. Catch you tomorrow.